Yeah, hi, Mauricio. Okay. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, is there any <coughs> news with uh, any of the injured players, uh, Chalaba, uh, Gusto, and Chil um, Chilwell, will they be available on, on, on tomorrow night? Okay, uh, Trevor and Malo, they were training with us, and I think they, they will be ready to be on the on the squad. Uh, Chile, no, Chile, we, are, uh, we didn't see Chile from Friday. That was the last time that we saw him because um, the doctor and the medical staff removed uh, from his uh, knee uh, a lot of uh, fluid. That was, you know, uh, with the situation that after to to arrive from the from the national team, and then uh, Saturday got ill, and uh, was in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today, no, that uh, is not here, is at home, trying to recover, and Robert is training. Robert Sanchez, we we'll see if he can be on, on the list or not, on the squad. And then, um, but the rest I think you have, you know, in the website, uh, how they, the evolution of the different players. Obviously, a frustrating uh, result against uh, Burnley, and Todd Bowley's been speaking after that game, and he's basically telling the fans to trust the process and keep the faith. What did you make of Todd Bowley's comments, and do you think the fans still do trust the process? No, that you know, and I never, never talk about my, <coughs> my owners. Um, I not, nothing to say about that, you know, because they are entitled to to talk in the way that they they want. That is why they are the owner of the club. Uh, what only I can say is thank you to, you know, to 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 show the the trust, and the support. That is the most important that we need, and the the player needs. The support from from our bosses. There's a new contract for Alfie Gilchrist. How pleased are you with that? And does Cole Palmer need a new contract soon, quickly? <laughs> Look, I think uh, good for a player that uh, came through the the academy. I think you can feel or you can see how he feel the the share and the badge, Alfie, and then congratulate him to get the new contract. And then the, the second part of your question, uh, I think it's a player that arrived now and, and of course, uh, he's doing well. But I think, uh, I don't know, if he signed five, six, seven con an AR contract, I don't know. Uh, I am not aware. Uh, but no worries that if the club believe that uh, we need to compensate or, or to reward player, for sure the club uh, is going to do, but I think, you know, I think he's playing football. That is why we bring him to play football. To He's an offensive player and creative player that is doing well, but always is the idea when we sign players is, is that performing the way that he's performing. Um, Mauricio, you're, you're 12th on the table now after Bournemouth's uh, win last night. There are, there are 10 games left. What's realistic for you in those, those final 10 games now? I think it's, uh, we need to catch uh, catch up some games. I think we are in behind of uh, you know um, because we were involved into in the the competition like uh, Carabao Cup and, and FA Cup until to the end and and, uh, and we need to cancel some games. Uh, yeah, but this is so important. It's so important two two things. Um, that is uh, the process and the evolution of the team. Um, but I think we are the youngest team. I think in the top five leagues, the best, the best, uh, you know, league in the in Europe, the younger team. That is one thing. Another is uh, with all the circumstances that uh, we didn't get the result that we des uh, we deserve. Um, that is why sometimes because it's lack of sometimes experience to deal with things in a key moment during the game. Um, yes, that is the process. And realistic uh, moment uh, that we need to accept, but of course we are in a club like Chelsea that is all about to win. But uh, changing the project and doing the things in a different way always, you know, you need time. Uh, maybe more than we expect, because the circumstances may, you know, to delay a little bit the, to get the result that we w we wanted. But of course, keep going with the same energy, and of course uh, the same you know, capacity to keep working and believing 
in the idea and the philosophy that we want to create. And just finally, um, we're kind of unhappy with some abuse that Conor Gallagher has received after a video um, circulated of him not high-fiving a mascot in the tunnel before the Burnley game. I mean, how that is upset me so much because no one, you know, uh, want to do something like this uh, with this intention. I think he was so well. He says too many videos and photography and picture about that corner was really well with both mascot. And then was, you know, uh, when you play football, when you are there and you are focusing too many things and you focusing to play and to start the game and look, uh, that sometimes can happen, but I think in people is want to abuse of the people. People are always to try to find things to to create a mess and to and to and to abuse. You know the people that if you know, I know Connor. I know the people that you know that people that is involved here in Chelsea. I can talk for the people that I know at Come On. Never is that intention. Connor is a great, great kid and always is caring about everything, you know. And I hate with the people feel free to abuse in social media in things like this. You know, I think we we don't believe that you or you don't believe that we need to stop all this type of thing. It's like a today if to abuse of the people is like a so for easy, it's so easy, you know, and, and then is to pay attention of that also when this we never happen this type of things that is to 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 give uh, or to give too much you know attention to the people that want to create this type of thing to mess and to and to insult and to abuse to another people i think please stop i think i think we are all responsible about that how is it possible to believe that, uh, that the intention of connor is is to ignore a, a mascot come on and then, come on, it makes me very, very sad because I know Connor and not deserve to be abused. No one deserves to be abused, but him, come on, knowing him, come on, it's not, uh, but come on. And I am seeing too many things that happen, not only in England, in the rest of the world. I think uh, our responsibility uh, and your responsibility and all together, I think we need to, to try to ignore all this type of thing and to you know, go to the, again, the people that try to create this type of thing that never help, you know, the never help our life. Uh, of course, the game that we are involved in football and people, you know, that, uh, you know, that come, you know, uh, it's not deserved to, to pay attention on that, but uh, come on, we need to keep moving. And uh, for me, it's, it's about uh, uh, to support you know, Connor, to support all the people that sometimes uh, get abused, you know, I'm going to be there to, to help all these guys that deserve to be uh, uh, in behind. Thank you. Really You're welcome. Uh, the result against Burnley was uh, very disappointing for us. What do you sense from the players, from your players, in terms of um, their body language and how much how hurt they are and how do you want to react tomorrow night against Burnley? No, I, we were talking a lot after the game uh, during these uh, few days. Um, agree with you with the body language, the signal that we sent from the from the beginning of the game. I think I think we are Chelsea, but we need to behave like Chelsea. We need to behave like a, if we want to belong to the to a big club. Uh, it's not an excuse to be young or to be an experienced player. It's we need to behave because on the end we need to defend our our badge and, and of course to play for for our club and to perform because we need to perform but i think the i try to describe after the the game uh, in my press conference uh, our feelings and i think after in the next few days when we were here in the training ground i think i start to realize but that is about when we talk about potential amazing player when we talk about the potential to be a big player when we are talking about young they need to realize that they need to improve so quick it's not time to, to improve one year, two year, because the demand is so high from, from the Premier League and then from the club. And I think it was a good week or good few days uh, just to talk about body language, energy, uh, the capacity to deal with the pressure, uh, is to perform better, is to step up. Is Because if not, this, the excuse is, is what? 
this good is we <laughs> we can find excuses, but on the end we need to perform tomorrow, and we are going to be the same uh, guys on the on the pitch, you know, because that is the squad that we have, and of course they are the principal actors that need to step up and say, we are here, we have character, we are going to show that we deserve to play in 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 this amazing club, and of course after. The fans are going to be in behind the team if we show that we are capable to deal with this, this situation. You spoke before the Burnley game about how important is it to have the support from the fans, to have a strong positive atmosphere at Stamford Bridge. How important is it tomorrow as well to have the fans on board, despite the fact that both from Chelsea and United it's been a disappointing season, it's still a very strong rivalry. No, I think it's, it's up to us. It's up to us to start the game in a different way than we start against Burnley. Even if uh, after 45 minutes against Burnley is 4 5 nil. That was what uh, we deserve, and that was the game. I think we need to play better. We need to, you know, to show more energy. We need to show more um, that we can compete more like a, you know, a team. And I think it's, of course, tomorrow is Manchester United. It's, it's no point to, to. I think the motivation is there because you know it's not going to, with all the respect, Barley there. But I think with respect, Barley. That is also is a painful scene that we like a team that still we didn't get nothing and we didn't achieve nothing. We respect the opponent. That is a is more not to disrespect the opponent, is to respect ourselves and disrespect you know our our club because we need to play always in our best and we need to be motivated to play every time that we go for for a game. One of the biggest challenges of facing United this season is probably you don't know what to expect. They had a good result against Liverpool in the Cup recently. Their performance against Brentford two years ago was very disappointing as well. But still, what do you expect from them tomorrow? The same. For me, is is what we expect from us. You know, also, <laughs> I need to be sure that uh, my expectation about the game and we are going to come with the, with the pressure and going to perform well. And we are going to be in a different way that we perform uh, against Barney. That is, you ask me about Manchester United, I am not entitled to talk about Manchester United. I can give my opinion like an opponent, but I, I think uh, what I need to, to tell you and tell, of course, the players for sure, they, they will listen to me and, and the fans that we need to perform well and we need to be, you know, focusing our performance tomorrow. Thank you. Hi, Mauricio, how are you? Good. Um, you mentioned before about you need to behave like Chelsea. You keep saying you need to have respect for yourselves. Can you explain that for me? What do yeah, you but it's only to watch the game against Burnley. I think it's too many, you know, in too many aspects. I think if we want to win, I want to to be and to match the, the expectation. You know, in Chelsea, we need to behave different. Behave different means uh, to be focused, to be concentrated, to be more aggressive, you know? Not to hide in behind to the opponent, try to always ask for the ball, to play in possession. Okay, we create too many chances to score, but after the another phase of the of the game, we need to be strong because the team that want to win and want to be important and, and if you want you, if you want to ga uh, win games, it's not only to play well with the ball. You know, we are we cannot be an exhibition team that play football to to enjoy. We need to compete and compete is completely different. That is why I, I was upset or was disappointed after the Burnley game. Because of course with the ball we try to we play, we create chances. Wow. Unbelievable. But after we need to run. Because we are in Chelsea. We need to run in, and chasing the Burnley player like uh, the Manchester United player or like the Real Madrid player. Because we still we didn't get nothing like a like a group of player and team and coaching and staff here in Chelsea. And if we want to win Yes, we need to respect the both phases of the of the game. And I think if you watch the game, I think you will be uh, agree with me. If the players are not agree with me, okay, we need to be worried, you know, because I think we have uh, experience in football and we know what it means to play for for win, you know, and that is so important. And try to explain and try to realize because on, in the way that we need to approach the player today is completely different. Maybe 20, 30 years ago. You can go and kill, you know, and the player will react in a good direction. Today, you need to explain, you need to show, you need to talk. It's like we were talking, you know. Player today need to; <laughs> they are very sensitive, and they need to.
to buy, you know, the idea and to realize the thing that we are doing well and the thing that we need to improve. But surely the bare minimum in football is to run and to show some effort. I mean, no, but if no, we are agree with that, you don't try to, to convince, convince me because I am agree with you. But how, I mean, why do you have to convince a footballer? I mean, if, if I was stood in front of your team It's now, strange, no? Yeah. It's weird, that conversation, but it's the reality. <laughs> but not only here, eh? In other clubs. Um, finally for me, um, you gave a, a, a passion uh, speech earlier about social media regarding so Conor Gallagher. Players these days are seen as being so away from fans and, you know, like when you play football, when you play the game, it's probably easier for fans to go up to you and, and, and speak to you or get an autograph by you. These days, it's, it's not impossible. How much is... Oh, it's not impossible. Oh, right, difficult. But how much do you think that the players need to be on social media, but when they're abused, you can see why they don't want to be on social media and, and, and seem to be even further away from fans? The problem I seem to be in social media uh, today is like it's a compulsory thing if you want to communicate, you know, with your with your people, with your fans. And then it's also it's a thing that value is measure your value, depend of the followers that you have in Twitter or X or, or Instagram or Facebook. I don't know this type of uh, platform that provide you the or put you in a value in front to the society. And that is, that is the problem, you know? Because we were seeing too many things like this that is so, is so wrong in the society that is, that is the things that have happened, you know? It was like, a, I don't know if you see in Barcelona, in Igo, the central back from Barcelona that go down and was a YouTuber that was a record him and trying to provoke, you know? to do something wrong to after to have too many views and then to you know to have the possibility to uh, get money from from there yes because i think we are going to blame this guy that was regular and provoking some or, in, or abusing and some player like this and no it's the society that consume that we are all oh we are going to go and see what happened there what happened there because you know we are seeing in tv all today you know all the good thing or the people is interested in bad things. I think we are a little bit responsible also because uh, you know we open the door. You know uh, all the documentary about people can see. Or, yes, but we what do we want to see? We want to see when they are discussing, when we are fighting, but never things that you know good that uh, happy things or no it's find the you know the the wrong things and that is is the society is the society that you know that we are all involved um, and we cannot blame no one uh, if we want to you know we need to accept that it's like this but we need to be very careful careful in the way that we behave um, and and of course to pay more attention you know this type of thing that can, you know, damage your, your image and the people can find you or see you in a, in a way that you are not real, even when you want to cheat the people. If I want to be popular and demagogic, I can talk in different way or other way and can do things, you know, with your complicity about, oh, how it looks good Pochettino, no? But on the, on the end, when I cross this door, I am the same or behave different. Here I, I, I am always smiling, but there I am the, the worst guy in the, in the world. That is the problem that society that we need to, you know, to, to be part. Uh, but I'm not going to change my values. I'm going to defend what I, I believe. And yes, I don't care what is going on and around. Thank you. Last two in the broadcast, Liam. And then Hi, Mauricio. The team has conceded two goals in each of its last five games. Um, what do you need to do as a group to improve that defensive record? Working is in, in a way that we can uh, improve. And today and yesterday and before yesterday, we were working and, and a lot in, in trying to provide the tools to the team to, to be strong and not to concede you know, goals in the way sometimes that we concede. Yes, uh, that is the only way that I know 
you know, like we were talking before, we were talking, we were showing videos uh, in a, in a, you know, in different lines and with different players, players that were involved in the situation. But always it's about the balance, no? It's to find the right balance. And I think until we don't get this, ba this right balance, I think, yes, we need to be pay more attention in all the situation, in a defensive situation to try to avoid the problems. But I think, Yes, uh, we are creating too many chances, but of course, in the, the second part of the season, we are considering more that, of course, we are aware of, about that. Thank you. Last question. Hi, Mauricio. Hi. Um, Maurice, um, Christopher and Kunku, how far away is he? Are we likely to see him again this season? I don't know. I don't know. I still, I still he, we don't know. Has he suffered a setback? Because um, a couple of months ago, you said about six weeks. I think it's been about eight now. To return to train, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I said six or I don't know. Um, at the moment, at the moment, we don't know if it's when it's possible to start to to train with the team. At the moment, it's not training with us. Uh, didn't didn't uh, didn't happen. The, the, that setback that you say, uh, I have not information about that. He's recovering, and it was longer than we we expect. Um, that was after the final. Remember that I told yeah. that play during the final 30, 40 minutes. You know, with a problem, and we didn't know, and we found after the the game. Um, yes, it's this type of circumstance, you know, that affect on the end overall the the things because it's not only him. To many players that we suffered this season, uh, but hope hope that he can be involved again quick as soon as possible in the dynamic of the team and and of course if he should be really really good if before the end of the season we can come with him and and be part of again to the team. No? Hope hope that that happen. Thank you. Cameras off.